I was talking to a friend of ours who has a client that's requested uploading at an event. He's never done it, but today he went out and bought his very first set of LED fixtures for this purpose. And he had a lot of questions, like, what kind of DMX cables do I need, or DMX controller, or remote controls do I need? How do I master slave all of these up for uplighting? I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. It's not hard. You don't need anything extra besides your fixtures and their power cables if they need them. And that's static color. What's static? That's a single solid color. And you can achieve this on most any LED fixture via the internal menu. Now I can't stress this enough. Every fixture is going to be different. Every menu is going to be different. But basically you're going to have these four buttons. There's menu, setup, up and down in this LED screen. I'm going to flip through the screen. So that says slave. That's where you put it if you're going to run it as a slave fixture. This says R00. I'm going to hit this button a few times. And I'm going to zero this out real quick. We have no color here on this. R00. This has the value between 0 and 255. If I start going up, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the fixture diodes start turning red. I only have one hand, but can you see that red coming in? Whoops, I blew past it. Now I can go down, back it up. There we go, there's 252, that's red. Now let's say that I want a kind of a purple color. I can hit the menu again until I see blue. And then I can start adding blue to this red to get kind of a magenta or purple. Can you see it? Can you see the reflection? It's more of a purple. Now there's another way to do this on most lights. You get what are called color macros, which are real cool. Here is the macro screen, CL29. There's our color 29, which is kind of a sky blue. But if I just flip through these, you'll see, you can see the reflection on the table, that the color keeps changing each time. There are different shades of blue, different shades of red, green, amber. I don't know how many color macros are actually involved, but there's a lot of them. You don't have to mix color like I showed you before. This is the easy way to do it. There's color macro zero. If I go one down, 64. It gives me 64 different color macros on this particular light. And most fixtures will have this. It makes it very easy. You don't have to worry about color values or anything. You just pick the color you like. And what I do is... I select this color at home. I go through all my lights. I make them this static color of whatever I want. I choose the macro I want or do the mix I want. And then I just take them to my gig, plug them in, and that color is saved. It's pretty simple. So now that you've chosen your static color, where do you go from there? Wherever you want. This is kind of an artistic expression as far as I'm concerned. Uplighting is not just putting lights around a room evenly spaced. To me, it's highlighting architectural detail and points of interest or creating focal point. And I have videos on this. If you go into my channel and look at the basic uplighting facts videos, I talk about kind of how I like to do things, but that's just a matter of opinion. That's just how I do it. There's no right or wrong, really. This is just what I think is the most effective way to do things. But you may have a different opinion. If you do, that's great because, again, this is all just kind of artistic expression with this and whatever you think looks best and whatever makes the client happy. So there's a quick video for you. That's how you achieve static color on these LED fixtures. It's pretty simple. And uh, yeah, good luck to you. Good luck to our friend out there who's getting started and any of you who are venturing into this as well. Practice and enjoy.